Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Star Short Course Invitational Meet for Saturday morning. These are the Saturday morning prelims. We're going to be starting this morning with event number 40. This is going to be the men's 13 and 14 200 yard IM. There's going to be seven heats in this first event. As we begin this morning's swim meet, Star would like to thank our sponsors for the short course invitational this year. We have two sponsors we'd like to thank. One of them is Align RX. Align RX is a cutting edge pharmacy consulting firm working with health plans, brokers, third party administrators, and employer groups to guide decisions that optimize their pharmacy drug spend. Align RX drives significant savings through robust acquisition process, trend management, and innovative solutions. And Star would also like to thank Braemiller Market. Braemiller Markets has actually opened their second location here in downtown Buffalo, just a few blocks away from where we are now. At Braemiller's, you can find fresh food, produce, snacks, beverages, sandwiches, and more. Check us out at braemillermarket.com on Facebook. And for those guests who are with us here in downtown Buffalo, it's a great place to go for lunch. It really is just a short block or short couple blocks away from here and it is a brand new facility they literally just opened up within the past couple months and now it looks like we're about to start so this is the men's 13 and 14 200 yard IM this is event number 40 in this first heat of seven in lane number three is Mitchell Cohen Javier Hernandez is swimming in lane number four. Tanner Pagel is swimming in lane number five. And Max Anderson from Clarence is swimming in lane number six. And finishing in first place with a time of 2.20.69 is going to be Javier from back. That's a personal best by about eight seconds. Second place is going to be lane number six. That's Max Anderson from Clarence with a time of 2.24.34. Again, a personal best by about four seconds. And in third place with a time of 2.32.64. And lane number five is Tanner. This is now heat number two of the Saturday morning prelims. Again, this is the men's 13 and 14, 200 yard IM. Joseph Scrumfus is on lane number one. Patrick Noonan is in lane number two. Spencer Rosebum is in lane number three. Gavin Buckley is in lane number four. Matthew 
Will Cause is in lane number five. Matthew Simmons swimming in lane number six with Anthony O'Leary in seven and Andrew O'Day bringing up lane number eight. See if the luck of the Irish is with these two in the last seven lane, seven and eight. Right now they seem to be leading. That would be Anthony and Andrew. And with a good turn at the wall, finishing in first place in lane number four, that's going to be Gavin Buckley with a time of 2.20.82. Coming in second place in lane number two with a time of 2.21.96 is going to be Patrick. And coming in third place, lane number seven with a time of 2.24.03 is going to be Anthony O'Leary. Each one of those swimmers got in a personal best for themselves. On the blocks now, this is heat number three. Danny Quinlan is in lane number one. Charlie Lorenz will be in lane number two. Luke Splediato is in lane number three. Alex Zhang will be in lane number four. Riley So will be in five. Vincent Wang in six. Miles Moore will be swimming in lane number seven. And Jin Chavez is swimming currently in lane number eight. This is heat number three. For those viewers who have gotten up early with us. Soon we're going to get into some trivia time. It's everyone's favorite way to spend our star swim meet morning. We figured in honor of the season we'll do some Christmas trivia this year. This Christmas movie trivia. We'll also have some random facts of the day, this day in history. But let's be honest people, we got to keep this entertaining.
And in this heat number three of the men's 13, 14, 200 yard M, coming in in first place in lane number seven is gonna be Miles Moore from the Stars Swim Club with a time of 217.61. In second place will be in lane number five, that's gonna be Riley with a time of 220.61. And in third place in lane number two with a time of 221.05 is gonna be Charlie Lorenz. On the blocks now is gonna be heat number four. Matthew Franklin from Long Island is gonna be swimming in lane number one. Jacob Hirschberg is swimming in lane number two. Elias Milanic is swimming in lane number three. Daniel Eisenberg is swimming in lane number four. Berka Iglu is swimming in lane number five. Hamaz Atawabi is swimming in lane number six. Xander Song is swimming in lane seven. And Isaac Chen is currently swimming in lane number eight, also for Long Island Athletics. Finishing in first is going to be Jason Hirschberg from Delmar Dolphin Swim Club. Finishing in second place in lane at number five is going to be Burka from back. And in third place, up in lane number one from Long Island Athletic is going to be Matthew. On the blocks now, this is heat number five of seven preliminary heats for the men's 13 and 14 200 yard IM. Ethan Calhoun is swimming in lane at number one for Long Island. Jared Gelios swimming for Team Suffolk will be in lane number two. Henry Chang is swimming in lane number three. Liam Clark in four. Peter Pizer is swimming in lane at number five. Lucas Brown, lane number six. Henry Ma swimming in lane at number seven. And Rowan Karaka is swimming in lane at number eight.
Currently right now, this is heat number six. This is the second to last heat of the men's 13 and 14 200 yard IM. Thomas Mackley is swimming way up for the Long Island in lane number one, followed by his teammate Evan Kreider swimming in lane number two. Keenan Hernandez is swimming in lane number three. Lorenzo Aquilino is swimming in lane number four. Andrew Koch swimming in lane number five. Edward Hang is swimming in lane, or Edward Wang swimming in lane at number eight or six. Gotcha, I'm all over the place here, people. James Darcy is in seven, and John Gregory from Schenectady Saratoga Swim Club is swimming in lane at number eight. And in this heat number six, finishing in first place in lane number four with the time of 2.06.76 is gonna be Lorenzo. Finishing in second place, lane number two with the time of 2.09.70 is Evan, beating his personal best by about three seconds. And in, on the blocks now, this is the final heat, heat number seven of the men's 13 and 14 200 yard IM. From Delmar Dolphin Swim Club, swimming way up in lane number one, is Ewan Izzard. Jerry Wang is swimming in lane number two. Andrew Simmons is swimming in lane number three. Quinn Nelson is in four. Brendan So is swimming in lane number five. The handsome Atticus Young is swimming in lane number six. With Connor Dean, his teammate, in lane number seven. And Grady Moore, also from Star, swimming in lane number eight. This is now event 103. This is the women's 200 yard IM. For the women swimming here this morning on Saturday, there's gonna be 14 preliminary heats for these women. In this first heat, 
Grace Rivera from Star Swim Club and Katie Tothro are swimming in lanes one and two. Ella Callahan from Beck. Also, Eliza Profiska and Megan Snot Snotes. Snote? Let's go with Snote. And Alex Hodge, all from Beck. Birthday Aquatic Club in New Jersey. And Kira Cotter is swimming in lane number seven for Star. All of these swimmers currently in the pool have swam this in around two minutes and 34 seconds. All of them are trying to break that 2.30 mark this morning for their own personal bests. As you guys are watching this first heat of the women's 200 yard IM, let's throw some trivia at you this morning. Something to think about as you are watching this race. We have a bunch of holiday trivia that we're gonna be throwing at you today. And here's the first one. What is the best selling Christmas movie of all time? Best selling Christmas movie of all time. I'll give you a hint. This movie has come out just in the past four years. I'll give you a second hint. It was originally a Dr. Seuss book. That's right, it's The Grinch. The 2018 version, however. Number one selling movie of all time for Christmas. This now on the block is heat number two. Sophia Boyer swimming in lane at number one. Megan Sansbury swimming in lane at number two. Brie Lorenz will be swimming in lane number three. Harrison Fowler is swimming in lane number four. Stephanie DeAngelis is swimming in lane number five. Sienna Martin, Lauren Savage, and Mackenzie Flood are rounding out six, seven, and eight.
And as these swimmers are coming in, it looks like swimming in first place is going to be lane at number five with a time of 2.27.22, 22, breaking that two minute and 30 second barrier. That's going to be Stephanie swimming in lane at number one with the second place finish at 2.29.990. Sophia also finishing underneath two minutes and 30 seconds. Great swim by both those girls. This is now heat number three of event 103. This is the women's 200 yard IM. Sophia Nakar is swimming in lane at number one. Sophia Hall is in two. Reva Saith is in lane at number three. Kenna Olajarnik is in lane at number four. Avery McLaren is in five. Sydney Gross is in lane number six. Amanda Miller, all the way from Long Island, is swimming with us in lane number seven. And Avery Nash, from back, is swimming in lane number eight. Here's your second trivia of the day. Which Cheers actor narrated several Disney Christmas classics, including Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas? What Cheers actor narrated several Disney Christmas classics, including Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas? Both of those movies were recently watched in our home. Here's your first hint. This actor also had a spinoff show from Cheers that was located out in Seattle. That show was called Frasier, and that actor is Kelsey Grammer. It is heat number three. Sophia Knocker has hit the wall first on the final length of this 200 yard IM. She's up there in lane number one. Sophia at this point is on pace to shatter her own personal best. And finishing in first place with a time of 225.63 is Sophia from Twist. Finishing in second place with a time of 2.28 was the person right next to her, Sophia Hall. And in third place with a time of 2.30.26, lane number three is gonna be Riva. This now is heat number four. Logan Fitzpatrick will be swimming for Long Island up in lane number one. Isabella Lynn for Clarence is swimming in lane number two. Hannah Chang is in three. Amelia Natemeyer is swimming in lane at number four from Victor. Evelyn Sun is swimming in lane number five. Ella Song is swimming in lane number six. Swimming in lane at number seven. Alessandra is in swimming, sorry, and also Elizabeth is in swimming in lane number eight. Alessandra Abidjan and Elizabeth Birdsick. Elizabeth from Clarence is currently the only swimmer who has not swim this in less than two minutes and 30 seconds. My guess is that she will definitely beat that this morning. Of course, as soon as I say that, I look up and notice that she is not even swimming here in lane number eight, so I guess she's not going to be breaking that two minute, 30 second barrier. For those of you who are a fan 
of the classic Christmas movie, A Christmas Story. Do you know what Ralphie's father's name is in the movie, A Christmas Story? This is the classic tale of a young boy who wants nothing more than a Red Ryder BB gun for his Christmas present. It's also the same movie where someone was triple dog dared to lick a flagpole outside the school, which is a big mistake. I'll get you that answer right after this race. Finishing in first place with a time of 2.24.95 in lane number one would be Logan Fitzpatrick. Finishing in second place in lane number four with a time of 2.27.37 is going to be Amelia from Victor. And in third place, lane number five with a time of 2.27.60 is Evelyn's son. On the blocks now, in heat number five of the women's 200 yard IM. Stefiana Callen is swimming in lane number one. Ebby Hinman is swimming in lane number two. Emma Bowens is swimming in lane number three. Eva Hiltz in four. Emma Jones in five. Sarah Robinson in six. Katie Crawford is swimming in lane number seven. And Abigail Selnow is swimming in lane number eight. So the question was, what is the name of Ralphie's father in A Christmas Story? The answer is, he actually doesn't have a name. He's just known as the old man. And finishing in first place in this heat number five, in lane number five, with a time of 221.36, is Emma Jones. Beating her personal best by a second. Finishing second place, lane number eight, with a time of 221.42, is Abigail Selnow, who crushed that, dropping six seconds. And in third place, lane number one, time of 224.59, is Miss Kellen from Long Island Athletics. This is now heat number six of the women's 200 yard IM. Event number 103, Isabella Gonzalez is swimming in lane number four. Corinne Boyle is swimming in lane number two. Ryan Redman is in lane number three. Shay Boydwins is in, or Budanis is in lane number four. Alyssa St. Thomas is in lane number five. 
Emma Hines is in lane number six. Haley Griffin swimming in lane number seven. And Caitlin Chow swimming in lane number eight. Those of you who are a fan of the classic movie, It's a Wonderful Life. At one point, the main character, George, promises to give Mary something in It's a Wonderful Life. Do you remember what George actually promised Mary? He promised to give her the moon. In this heat number six, finishing in first place in lane at number six, is gonna be Emma from back. She swam this in time of 118.21. First time breaking the 220 mark. Also breaking the 220 mark in lane number two, swimming in second place with a time of 219.51 is going to be Corinne Boyle. This is now heat number seven. We are halfway through. Event number 103, the 200 yard IM women's prelim. Carolina Shaw is swimming up in lane number one. Megan Koch is swimming in two. Vanessa Mintz in three. Peyton Buell swimming in lane number four. Isabella Soma is in lane number five. Brooke Tutti is swimming in lane number six. And swimming on the outside lane, Olympia Frizzoni swimming for Schenectady Saratoga Swim Club. Many people are familiar with the classic Christmas movie, A Miracle on 34th Street. Do you know the year that Miracle on 34th Street, the original Miracle on 34th Street, was actually released? I'll give you a clue. It was before the 1950s. What year did the original Miracle on 34th Street, when was it released? The answer, 1947. And with a fabulous swim in lane number three, Vanessa Mintz finished with a time of 216.84. She was flying on that heat. Good job, Vanessa. This is now heat number eight. 
Raquel Gromern is swimming in lane number one for Team Suffolk. Erica Sav swimming in lane number two. Jillian Ferry swimming in lane at number three. Mia Broliski swimming in lane at number four. Sam Tornberg swimming in lane number five. Catherine Grefsky swimming in lane number six. Kate Curran swimming in lane number seven. And Eva Canning swimming in lane at number eight for Long Island Athletic Club. Currently, the only swimmer in this event, Mia, has swam this in under two minutes and 20 seconds. Mia is swimming in lane number four. Many of the girls are going to have a very good shot of breaking that two minute, 20 second barrier. Many of you guys watching at home grew up watching this Christmas classic, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which premiered in 1964. Recently, there's been a little bit of controversy surrounding Rudolph and this classic Christmas movie, which is kind of understandable when you rewatch it as an adult. Donner, the father of Rudolph, was not very kind to his son at certain times. And the coach was really mean to him. He wouldn't even let him play in the reindeer games. But the trivia question is this. What network first aired the classic Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in 1964? Which TV network aired Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in 1964? We don't have too many options at this point. There was only a few television stations to begin with. The answer, NBC. In this heat, number eight, finishing in first place with a time at 2.14.49 in lane number four, that would be Mia, dropping five seconds. Finishing in second place with a time at 2.15.11, that would be Erica. These are the only two swimmers to swim this in under two minutes and 20 seconds. This is now heat number nine. Emma Sauer is swimming in lane number one. Melissa Scala is swimming in lane at number two. Dorothy Amato is swimming in lane at number three. Megan Bozos is swimming in lane at number four. Zoe Zoledowski is swimming in lane at number five. Ellie Tettelmeyer swimming in lane at number six. Bess Teslick is swimming in lane number seven. And Melina Howie is swimming in lane number seven, or sorry, lane number eight. Unlike the previous heat, every swimmer from here on out has swam this event in under two minutes and 20 seconds. The top swimmers in this event are gonna be swimming it just around the two minute mark. So you'll be able to see how they progressively obviously get faster as this event continues. This is heat number nine. There's gonna be a total of 14 heats for this preliminary event number 103, the women's 200 yard IM.
Swimming in first place with a time of 2.16.22, lane number three, that's gonna be Dorothy. Swimming in second place with a time of 2.18.85, a little bit off of her personal best. That's gonna be Megan. And finishing in third place with a time of 2.19.30 is in lane number five, that's gonna be Zoe. This is now heat number 10, swimming in lane number one is Jenna Nuss. Lillian Darcy is swimming in lane number two. Swimming in lane number three is Jennifer Daimaria. Sophia Schmierzniak is swimming in lane number four. Allison Smith is in lane number five. The legendary Medi Domster swimming in lane number six. Jacqueline Constantine is swimming in lane at number seven. And Kimberly Gingrass is, or Gingrass is swimming in lane at number eight. And finishing in first place, the incomparable Maddie Domster with a time of 2.13.89. Good job, Maddie. This is now heat number 11. Bailey Wegland is swimming in lane at number one. Raya Cohen is swimming in lane at number two. Abby Lyons is in three. Maddie So will be in lane number four. Emily Chung is in five. Veronica Gelfand is swimming in lane at number six. Cadence O'Donnell is swimming in lane number seven. And Aaron Bosniak is swimming in lane number eight. All of these swimmers are right around the two minute and 14 second mark.
And in this heat, number 11, finishing in first place with a time at 2.12.71, beating her personal best by about two seconds. That's gonna be Maddie So, swimming for Long Island. Here in heat number 12, Delaney Moynihan will be swimming in lane number one from back. Soraya Patabavong swimming in lane number two from Victor Swim Club. Kaylin Riordan swimming in lane number three. Emily Blake is in four. Brianna Rensello is swimming in lane at number five. Lou Barnsack is swimming in lane number six. Caitlin Liu is swimming in lane at number seven. And Jolie Fogg from Long Island is swimming in lane at number eight. Soraya would like to take a quick shout out to her grandparents who are watching abroad. Wishing them all the best and hoping that they are having a great day watching her swim. And the great thing about having these swim meets now online is that if you do miss your favorite swimmer out there in the pool today, you can always rewatch it later. In this heat number 12, finishing in first place with a time of 2.10. Is gonna be in lane at number three. That's gonna be Caitlin. Finishing in second place in lane number five with a time of 2.12.61 is gonna be Brianna. This is now heat number 13. It's the second to last heat of the women's event 103, 200 yard IM. Kelsey Cat will be swimming in lane number two. Olivia Ronigan is swimming in lane at number two. Catherine Fiera is swimming in lane number three. Olivia Brown is in lane number four. Brooke Hag swimming in lane number five. Lauren Patello is swimming in lane at number six. Emma McNutty is swimming in lane, or Nelty is swimming in lane number seven. And Sia Gridano is swimming in lane at number eight.
And in the second to last, last heat, coming in first place with a time of 208.95 in lane number four is going to be Olivia Brown from Team Suffolk. Finishing with a time of 209.67 in lane number five, coming in second place is going to be Brooke from Long Island Athletics. This is now the final heat, heat number 14 of the prelims for the women's 200 yard IM. Katie Canty is swimming in lane at number one. Olivia Glaser is swimming in lane number two. McKenna O'Brien is swimming in lane number three. Denise Phelan is swimming in lane at number four. Abby Hahn is in five. Natalie Kessinger is in lane at number six. Morgan Williams is in seven. And Tamson Foreman is swimming in lane at number eight. The only swimmer in this event to have completed this so far in under two minutes is the swimmer Denise from Team Suffolk who is swimming currently in lane at number four. Following this event, 103, the women's 200 yard IM. We're gonna switch it back to the men and we're gonna go back to event number 46. This is gonna be the men's 13 and 14 year olds 100 yard backstroke. There's gonna be six heats for the men. And finishing way out ahead of everyone else is going to be Denise Phelan from the town of Suffolk, who finished with a time of 2.03.29. Coming in second place in lane number six with a time of 2.20.99 is going to be Natalie from Twist. In the pool now, this is gonna be event number 46, the men's 13 and 14 100 yard backstroke. There are gonna be four swimmers in this initial pre preliminary heat. Swimming in lane at number three is gonna be Grady Moore from Star. Steven Ricotta from the Long Island Athletic Club is gonna be swimming in lane at number four. Matthew Wilkesos swimming for the Clinton Cuda Swim Club is going to be in lane at number five, and Mitchell Cohen for the Star Swim Club will be swimming in lane at number six. One of the favorite movies to watch in our house around the holiday time is gonna be National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So this trivia question is all about Christmas Vacation. Do you know the name of the neighbors in Christmas Vacation? Who were Clark Griswold's neighbors in Christmas Vacation? Answer after this race. This is now heat number two. Xander Song is in lane number one. The handsome Josh Eisenman is in lane number two. 
Andrew O'Day will be in lane number three. Javier Hernandez in lane number four. Peyton Egg swimming in lane number five. Spencer Rosebum swimming in lane number six. Yusuf Elawani swimming in lane number seven. And Max Anderswin from the Clarence Swim Club will be swimming in lane number eight. The answer to the question, what are the names of the neighbors in Christmas Vacation? That's going to be Todd and Margot Chester. You don't hear a lot of Margots anymore in the world. In fact, you don't hear a lot of Todds either. And finishing in first place in that second heat with a time of 106.44 is going to be lane at number four. That's going to be Javier Hernandez from back. This is now heat number three. Jared Gelios will be swimming in lane number one. Elias Melanek will be swimming in lane number two. Jin Chavez will be three. Austin Carducci will be swimming in lane number four. Abraham Muhammad will be swimming in lane at number five. Vincent Wang is in six. Henry Ma is in seven. And Tanner Padgel is in lane at number eight. Finishing in first place in lane number four, that's going to be Austin Carducci from the Twist Swim Club. He's going to finish with a time of 101.27. Second place in lane number one with a time of 102.09 is going to be Jared. In the pool now, this is heat number four. Matthew Franklin is swimming in lane number one. Atticus Young is swimming in lane number two. Henry Chang is in lane three. Brendan So in four. Edward Hang is in lane or Edward Wang is in lane number five. Lorenzo Aquilino is in lane at number six. Keenan Hernandez in seven. And Matthew Simmons from Long Island is swimming in lane at number eight. Currently, Brendan So is the only swimmer to swim this in under a minute. Brendan is currently swimming this in lane number four from Long Island. With a great turn, Lorenzo has actually taken the lead in this event. But as they approach the final lap, heading towards the wall, it is a pretty close race between Brendan and Lorenzo. And finishing in first place with a time of 58.99 in lane number six, that would be Lorenzo Aquilino from Team Suffolk. We just edged it out. Brendan So in lane number four with a time of 59.26. That's Lorenzo's first time swimming this in under a minute. And that's a great time for him. That's a great time for any of these swimmers, to be honest. This is now heat number five. Jerry Wang will be in lane number one. Jaden Brugzel is in lane number two. Ethan Calhoun is in three. Evan Creter is in lane number four. Jacob Hirschberg is in lane number five. Dominic Falbo is in lane number six. Hamaz Atuabi is in lane number seven, and Miles Moore is in lane number eight. Entering this event, Evan in lane four and Jacob in lane five are the only ones to do this in under a minute. 
Currently they are the first two to the wall after 50 meters. And I say meters, I really mean yards. As a science teacher, everything to me is metric. And with the time of 56.86, finishing first is Quinn Nelson, or I'm sorry, is gonna be Evan Creter. That is a personal best by about two seconds. And with a time of 57.13, finishing in second place is going to be Jacob Hirschberg. Jacob swims for the Del Mar Dolphin Swim Club. Both those swimmers shaved off about two seconds off their personal best. This is now the final heat of the men's 13 and 14 100 yard backstroke. Thomas. Helithaniel is swimming in lane number one. Thomas McKay is swimming in lane number two. Andrew Simons is in lane number three. Quinn Nelson's in four. Joseph Fitzgerald in five. Ewan Izzard is in lane number six. Barack Aglu is in lane number seven. And Joseph Farley is swimming in lane number eight. As in our previous heats, we have two swimmers who have previously done this in less than a minute. That's going to be Quinn in lane number four and Joseph in lane number five. And finishing in first place is going to be Quinn in lane number four with a time of 56.79. In second place with a time of 57.93 is going to be right next to him, Joseph Fitzgerald. But Ewan broke the one minute mark, finishing in 59.20 for a personal best for him. And a great accomplishment. This is now event 105. It's the women's 50 yard freestyle. These go quick. They're running down and they're running back. There's gonna be 17 prelims for the women's 50 yard freestyle event 105. If you blink, you might miss your swimmer, so make sure you know where they're swimming. If you don't know the heat sheet, if you take your phone and you put it up to the QR code on your screen, it'll be located in the bottom left-hand corner. Your camera should automatically direct you to a web page that will have all of the swimmers and their events and times. It'll also have an approximate time of when each event will be. In this event, Maggie Reagan's in lane number two, Sarah Sokolowski is in three, Avery McLaren is in four, Katie Tothro is in five, and Riley Patterson is already finished in lane number six. Man, those guys go quick. This is now heat number two. Megan Stott is in lane number one. Eni Bascaro is in lane number two. Alex Hodge is in three. Keenan Olajarek is in lane number four. Ella Callahan is in lane number five. Elizabeth Bridisayek is in lane number six. Sydney Gross is in lane number seven. And the wonderfully talented Abby Eisman is swimming in lane number eight. This is now heat number three. Grace Rivera will be in lane number one. Abby Hinman will be in lane number two. Mackenzie Flood is swimming in lane number three. Kara Pilateri is in lane number four. Ryan Redman is in five. Stephanie DeAngelis is in lane, lane number six. Riva Saith is in lane number seven. And Eliza Profaka is in lane number eight. Heat number four, Brie Lorenz is gonna be swimming in lane number one. Natalie Smith will be in lane number two. 
Kaitlin Chow is in lane number three. Sophia Boyer is in lane number four. Caitlin Liu is in lane number five. Lily Davis is in lane number six. Sarah Robinson in seven. And Amelia Natemeyer is swimming in lane number eight from the Victor Swim Club. Most of these swimmers are going to be swimming this around 28 seconds. If they break the 27 mark, they're going to feel pretty good about themselves. For example, number five, our swimmer in lane number five, that's going to be Caitlin Liu. In heat number five, Melissa Scalia is in lane at number one. Alexandria Abijan is in lane number two. Ellie Tedlemeyer is in lane at number three. Amanda Miller is in four. Ellis Song is in lane number five. Logan Fitzpatrick from Long Island is in six. Eva Hiltz is in seven. And Avery Nash, swimming for back, is in lane at number eight. In heat number six, Hannah Chang will be swimming in lane number one. Megan Cock is in lane at number two. Alyssa St. Thomas is in lane number three. Kira Cotter is in four. Gabby Saranci is in lane number five. Stephanie Spina is in lane number six. Catherine Grafeski is in lane at number seven. And Lillian Darcy will be swimming in lane at number eight. Swimming in the heat number seven, Jillian Ferry will be swimming in lane number one. Morgan Mollish will be in lane number two. Carson Fowler in three. Emma Bowens in lane at number four. Megan Sansbury in lane number five. Lauren Savage in six. Stephanie Kalen in seven. And Marin Dew swimming in lane at number eight. The swimmers who are about to enter the pool now are hoping to finish this in around 26 seconds, somewhere in that time frame, just a shade under 27. Sam Tornberg will be swimming up in lane at number eight from back. Katie Canty will be in lane number two. Amy Quinlan will be in lane number three. Bess Teslick is in lane number four. Hannah Megan will be in lane number five. Dana Hans is in lane six. Katie Crawford is in lane number seven. And Erica Sav will be swimming in lane number eight. This is heat number nine, halfway through the women's 50-yard freestyle, event number 105. Evelyn Sun is standing on the block in lane number one. Maddie So is in lane two. Abigail Selnow in three. Gabby Wilson in four. Allison Smith in five. Shay Buda Budanis is in lane at number six. Fiona Riley in lane at number seven. And Sienna Martin is swimming in lane at number eight. Again, each of these girls are trying to get somewhere in the 26 second mark. And about to stand on the blocks is heat number 10. In lane number one is Morgan Williams. Jolene Fong is in lane number two. Cadence O'Dell O'Donnell is in lane number three. Isabel Gonzalez is on four. Molly Green in five. Carolina Shaw is in lane at number six. Emma Heinz is in lane number seven. And Dorothy Amato is swimming in lane at number eight for Team Suffolk.
And standing on the blocks now, lane number one is going to be Brooke Tootie. Emma Jones is in lane number two, swimming for back. Noriah Cook, swimming in lane number three. Sophia Knocker, swimming in lane number four for twists. Delaney Moynihan, for back, is swimming in lane number five. Sophia Schmelcherinkak, I didn't get that one right, is swimming in lane number six. Eva Canning is in lane number seven, and Lily Barasek is in lane number eight. For heat number 12, Marissa Mamek will be in lane number one. Val Tennyson was in lane number two. Olivia Glassa will be in lane number three. Raya Cohen in lane number four. Carolyn DeBooth in lane number five. Bailey Wegland, six. Olivia Ronigan is in lane at number seven. And Jessica Konski swimming for Team Suffolk in lane number eight. These swimmers are now trying to get to the 25 second mark. This is now heat 13 of 17. Olympia Frenzoni is going to be swimming in lane number one. Swimming in lane number two is Maya Marsan. Swimming in lane number three is Emma Sauer. Kaylin Royden swimming in lane number four. Isabella Sapio in five. Katie Lester is in lane number six. Ashley Allaire is in seven. And Veronica Galifant is in swimming in lane number eight. This is event number 13. This is now event number 14. Brianna Rincello will be swimming in lane number one. Noelle Jordan is in lane number two. Jacqueline Constantine is in lane number three. Olivia Van Vredy is swimming in lane number four for Victor. Maddie Miller is in five. Lauren Patanello is in lane number six. McKenna O'Brien in lane number seven. And Kimberly Gingrass is swimming in lane number eight. Again, most of these swimmers are going to be swimming in about 25 seconds or so. This is now going to be heat number 15 of the women's 50-yard freestyle. This is event number 105. Fer Madeline Ferreira is in lane number one. Ellie Knocker is in lane number two. Zoe Zawodowski is in lane number three. Brooke Hag is in four. Maddie Sargent is in five. Katie Byers is in six. Katie Curran and Olivia Brown round out seven and eight. Each one of these swimmers now is shooting for somewhere in the 24 second mark. Obviously they've gotten progressively faster as we've continued to march down these different heats. In the second to last heat, number 16, Grace Voigt will be in lane number one. Zoe Griffin, her teammate, will be in lane number two from the Star Swim Club. Jenna Hart will be in lane number three. Mira Kellers, lane number four. Lauren Levy in five. Abby Han in lane number six. Soraya Patamavong is in lane number seven. And Myla Hiwi is in lane number eight. There's an outside chance a few of these swimmers in this preliminary event are going to swim this in the 23 second mark. The best swimmers to get a chance to do that are going to be Mary Keller in lane number four. And she does with a time of 23.99. And last but not least, Heat number 17 of the prelims of the women's 50-yard freestyle. Michaela Pierce is swimming in lane number one. Jenna Nuss 
for Long Island is swimming in lane number two. Mia Bolowski is in lane number three. Denise Phelan is in lane number four. Kelsey Catt in five. Grace Van Buren in lane number six. Tamsin Foreman in lane number seven. And Gretchen Gwitt swimming in lane number eight for Star. Denise comes in with the top seated time of a 23.79. This time she comes in with a time of 24.42 which is still a phenomenal race. This is now the men's 13 and 14 year old 50 yard freestyle. This is event number 52. There will be eight preliminary heats for this 50 yard freestyle for the boys. In this first heat, Thomas McKay is in lane number two. Nicole Gwitt is in lane number three. Steven Ricotta is in lane number four. Gavin Buckley in number five. And Matthew Franklin swimming in lane at number six. And with a strong first swim at 25-38, swimming in lane number six is Matthew Franklin from Long Island. Came in hard to the wall. In heat number two, Isaac Chen will be in lane number one. Anthony O'Leary in lane number two, Javier Hernandez in three, followed by Andrew O'Day, Joey Thompson in five, Ibrahim Muhammad in lane number six, the dashing Josh Eisman in lane number seven, and Logan Johnson for star, his teammate, will be swimming in lane number eight. On the blocks in heat number three, Mitchell Cohen will be a starting off in lane number one. Jerry Wang will be in lane number two. Aiden Carr in three, Riley So in four. Jeremy Zhu in lane number five. John Gregory, swimming for the Schenectady Saratoga Swim Club, will be in lane number six. Matthew McCaffrey will be in lane number seven. And Tanner Padgel will be in swimming in lane at number eight. Standing on the blocks now, about to enter the pool for heat number four, Matthew Simons will be swimming for Long Island. Same with Jin Chavez, Daniel Eisenberger, or Eisenberg, and Andrew Koch. They are all swimming for Long Island Athletic. Yusuf Elinari is swimming in lane number five. Alex Zhang is in lane number six. Kelly Lorenz swimming in lane number seven for the Tonawana Titans. And then the last Lane, Joseph Scrumfus for Star is in lane number eight. In lane number five, I'm sorry, this is heat number five. Spencer Roseblum will be swimming in lane number one. Matthew Wilkos is swimming in lane at number two. Ethan Calhoun will be in lane number three. Thomas Health will be in lane at number, or Penthil will be in lane number four. Ewan Izzard is in lane number six. Vincent Wang in lane at number seven. And Patrick Noonan will be swimming in lane number eight. Each of those swimmers got a personal best by breaking the 26 minute mark, or second mark, I should say. This is now heat number six. Xander Song is in lane number one. Max Anderson for Clarence is swimming in lane number two. Brady Moore is in three. Evan Creter is swimming in lane number four. Keenan Hernandez is in five. Ronan 
Caraca is in lane number six. Joseph Fitzgerald in seven, and Lucas Brown is swimming in lane number eight. That was heat number six. Now on the blocks is gonna be heat number seven. Peyton Egg for back is swimming in lane number one. Jaden Brunzel swimming in lane number two. The incomparable Atticus Young will be swimming in lane number three. Brennan So is on lane four. Liam Clark is in five. Henry Chang is in six. Dominic Falbo swimming for Victor is in lane number seven. And Jason Hirschberg is swimming in lane at number eight. From the Del Mar Dolphins Swim Club. And about to enter the blocks for heat number eight. This is the final heat of the event number 52, the men's 13 and 14 50 yard freestyle. Danny Quinlan will be swimming off in lane number one. Jared Gaglos is in lane number two. Barak Iglu is swimming in lane number three. The handsome Peter Peiser swimming in lane number four. Miles Moore, his teammate is in five, followed by Connor Dean in six. James Darcy is in seven. And from Twist, Austin Carducci, swimming in lane number eight. The fastest seated swimmer so far is Miles Moore in lane number five, coming in with a time of 23.91. Peter Peiser also has a top seed of 22.40 seconds. And as these boys leave the pool this morning, we are gonna begin event number 107. This will be the women's 100 yard backstroke. For the event number 107, there's going to be 11 preliminary heats. In this first heat, you are going to find there are six swimmers in the pool. Our first swimmer in the pool is going to be Caitlin Liu. She is swimming for Long Island in lane number two. Riley Patterson will be swimming for Star in lane number three. Sophie Spina for the Clinton Cuda Swim Club will be in lane number four. Sienna Martin, her teammate, will be in lane number five. And Maggie Regan for Star will be swimming in lane number six. And finishing with a great time is going to be Caitlin up in lane number two, who finishes this in under a minute with a time of 59.09. In this heat number two, Alex Hodge will be swimming in lane number one for back with her teammate. Alyssa Profaka is swimming in lane number two. Logan Fitzpatrick will be swimming in lane number three. Mackenzie Flood is in four. Megan Sott is in lane number five. Nettie Domster in lane number six. Ella Callahan in seven. And Isabella Lynn will be in lane number eight.
This is now heat number three of event 107, the women's 100 yard backstroke. Maya Bozleski is in lane number one. Ella Song is in lane number two. Alessandra Abijan is in lane at number three. Emma Jones is in four. Catherine Grefsky is in lane number five. Erica Saab is in lane number six. Avery Nash is in seven. And Sydney Gross for back is in lane number eight. This is now gonna be heat number four. Isabella Soma will be swimming in lane number one. Peyton Buell for Twist will be swimming in lane number two. Sam Thornburg is in lane three. Raquel Germán is in lane number four. Isabel Sapio is in lane number five. Caitlin Chow is in lane number six. Eva Canning in lane at number seven. And Hannah Chang is in lane number eight. This is now heat number five of the women's 100-yard backstroke. In the pool now, Sophia Knocker for Twist is swimming in lane number one. Marin Drews is swimming in lane number two. Stefiana Kals, Callen is swimming in lane number three. Dana Hans is in lane number four. Alyssa St. Thomas in lane number five. Katie Canty is in lane number six. Isabella Gonzalez is in lane number seven. And Val Tennyson is swimming in lane number eight. This is now gonna be heat number six. Lizzie Blake will be swimming this in lane number one. Natalie Cassier swimming in lane number two. Mela Howie in lane number three. Brooke Tutti in lane number four. 
Jennifer DeMaria is in lane number five. Morgan Williams is in lane number six. Molly Green will be swimming in seven. And Anne-Marie Kurtz from back will be swimming in lane number eight. Entering in the pool for this heat number seven, Marissa Mamick will be in lane number one. Jessica Konski will be in lane at number two. Erin Bonasek is in lane at number three. Madeline Ferreira is in four. Sophia Hall in five. Melissa Scala in lane number six. Grace Voigt in seven. And Emily Chung for stars will be in lane at number eight. This is now going to be heat number eight. Gretchen Gwitt will be swimming for star in lane number one. Megan Buzzes in lane number two. Sophia Schmierschenak is in lane number three. Amy Quinlan is in lane number four. Sophia Giordano is in lane number five. Corinne Boyle is in lane number six. Olympia Frizzoni in lane number seven. And Emma Bowens is in lane number eight. Finishing in first place for the first time ever under one minute is going to be in lane number four. That's going to be Amy Quinlan from Long Island. Getting in the pool now for heat number nine. Maddie McKinney for star is swimming up in lane number one. Maddie Miller is swimming in lane number two. Kaylin Rorden is in lane number three. Denise Fallon is in lane number four. Jacqueline Constantine is in five. 
Maya Marsan is in lane number six. Olivia Van Vridi is in lane at number seven, and Maddie Sargent for Victor is swimming in lane at number eight. Most of these swimmers now have all swam this in underneath a minute. The only exceptions being Maddie up in lane one, Olivia in lane seven, and Maddie Sargent in lane number eight for Victor. In the second to last heat, number 10 of 11 for the prelims for the women's 100 yard backstroke. Swimming up in lane number one is gonna be Katie Lester. Swimming in lane at number two is gonna be Brooke Hogg. Olivia Brown in three, Natalie Killian in four, Jenna Hart in five. Catherine Ferreira is in lane number six. Emily Blake and Haley Griffin will be swimming in lane number eight. And now in this final heat of 11, starting up in lane one, Jolene Fong from Long Island. Noelle Jordan will be in lane number two. Katie Byers is in lane number three. Abby Han is in lane number four. Ellie Knocker is swimming in lane number five. Lauren Patalano is in lane number six. Raya Cohen is in lane at number seven. And Abby Lyons is in lane number eight. Following this final heat of the women's 100 yard backstroke, we're gonna start the men's 13 and 15 year old 500 yard freestyle. This is gonna be event number 60. For the men, there's gonna be five preliminary heats of the 500 yard freestyle. For most of the swimmers, they're gonna complete it in around five minutes and 20 some seconds. Some of the better swimmers will be able to do it under five minutes. And on the blocks now, Thomas Halanthal is swimming in lane number three. Alex Zhang will be in lane number four. And Owen Olson from the Amherst Tiger Sharks will be swimming in lane at number five. These will be our first three swimmers today for event number 60, the men's 13 and 14 year old 500 yard freestyle.
This is now going to be heat number two of the men's 500-yard freestyle. These are the 13 and 14-year-olds. Peyton Egg will be swimming for back in lane number one. Luke Splendidio will be in lane number two. Danny Quinlan will be in lane number three. Matthew McCaffrey will be in lane number four. Charlie Lorenz will be in lane number five. Yusuf Elonawi is in lane number six. Vincent Wang will be in lane number seven. And Anthony O'Leary, swimming for Schenectady, will be swimming in lane number eight.
and now about to enter the pool for heat number two of the men's 13 and 14 500 yard freestyles. Patrick Noonan will be swimming in lane number one. Austin Carducci will be in lane number two. The young Connor Dean will be swimming in lane number three. Joseph Fitzgerald in four. Elias Malinek will be swimming in lane number five. Riley So, Isaac Chen, and Steven Ricotta will all be swimming for Long Island Athletic, Ath Long Island Athletic Club in lanes number six, seven, and eight. Star would like to take this moment to thank some of our gold sponsors for this weekend's swim meet. One of our gold sponsors is Align RX. Align RX is a cutting edge pharmacy consulting firm that's working with health plans, brokers, third party administrators, and employer groups to guide decisions that optimize their pharmacy drug spending. Align RX drives significant savings through robust acquisition processes, trends management, and innovative solutions. And Star would also like to thank Bray Miller's Market. Bray Miller's Market is just a few blocks from where we are located here at the ECC Flickinger Center in downtown Buffalo. Their original location that's been open for many years is actually found out in Hamburg. It's a beautiful little place that has great produce, great prices, and great food. But their new location that just opened here in downtown Buffalo is actually one of the first downtown grocery stores here in Buffalo in many, many years. They've been a welcome addition to our community. The location is fantastic. It is gorgeous on inside, and the food is really good. So if you're sticking around here in downtown Buffalo for the afternoon, stop on over to Bray Miller's, grab a good lunch.
entering the pool now. This is going to be heat number four. These are the prelims for the 500 yard freestyle for the men's 13 and 14 year olds. This is event number 60. Swimming in lane number one is going to be Daniel Eisenberg for Long Island Athletic. Ibrahim Mohammed will be swimming in lane number two. Joseph Farley is currently in the pool in lane number three. Andrew Simons is in lane number four. Lorenzo Aquilino is in five. Lucas Brown is in lane number six. Gavin Buckley in seven. And Ethan Calhoun is swimming in lane number eight for Long Island Athletic. It's been a while since we've been having some very short 50s here a little while ago, but let's get back to some of our Christmas trivia. So for those of you guys who are into Christmas movies, we got some questions for you. If you were to watch the movie The Polar Express, who can actually hear the bell ringing in the movie The Polar Express? The bell plays a central role throughout the course of that movie. But the answer is only those who truly believe in Christmas can hear the ringing of the bell. Speaking of Polar Express, who was the notable actor who plays the voice of the conductor in the Polar Express? That would be none other than Tom Hanks. If you were to spend this weekend watching the movie Elf, in the movie, Santa has some major trouble getting his sleigh off the ground. But do you know the name of the super sled engine that Santa was using on his sleigh before it decided to quit and he ended up crashing in Central Park? What was the name of the super sled engine in Elf that Papa Elf worked on and trained Buddy to help fix in the movie, Elf. The name of that engine is the Kringle 3000. Speaking of Elf, what song does Jovi sing in Elf in order to increase the Christmas spirit that ultimately saves Santa and gets his sled to fly once more. The answer is going to be Santa Claus is coming to town. There's actually a lot of controversy over this. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie or not? Regardless of your opinion, which Christmas song plays during the end credits of Die Hard? The answer would be, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.
Many of you guys are very familiar with Bing Crosby's best-selling single, The White Christmas. One of the most iconic Christmas songs of all out there. But do you actually know the movie that Bing Crosby originally sang that in? What was the original movie that Bing Crosby sang his best-selling single, White Christmas? The answer would be the Holiday Inn. It's really just called Holiday Inn. A true story, my mom was actually trapped at a Holiday Inn for multiple days during the blizzard of 77 here in Buffalo, New York, off on Grand Island. This is the final heat, heat number five of the men's 13 and 14 500 yard freestyle. Ronan Karaka is swimming in lane number one, followed by Henry Ma in lane number two. Andrew Koch is in lane number three. Quinn Nelson in lane number four. James Darcy in five. Edward Hong is in lane number six. The wonderful Atticus Young is swimming in lane number seven. And John Gregory all the way swimming from Schenectady, Saratoga, is in lane number eight. In this event, Quinn Nelson is the only swimmer to swim this in under five minutes with a time of Here are some favorite quotes from holiday movies. See if you can name that movie. Quote number one. I never thought it was such a bad little tree. It's not bad at all, really. Maybe it just needs a little love. Here's that quote again. I never thought it was such a bad little tree. It's not bad at all, really. Maybe it just needs a little love. That would be from A Charlie Brown Christmas by Linus. Here's your next quote. I passed through the seven levels of the candy cane forest, through the sea of swirly twirly gumdrops, and then I walked through the Lincoln Tunnel. Name that movie. I passed through the seven levels of the candy cane forest, through the sea of swirly twirly gumdrops, and then I walked through the Lincoln Tunnel. That would be Elf. Buddy the Elf, specifically. Here's a classic. I made my family disappear. I made my family disappear. That would be the legendary Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. True statement. I just found out that recently on Airbnb you can actually rent out the home. The original home that Kevin McAllister and the McAllister family stayed in, in the movie, Home Alone. You can actually rent it out by yourself if you so desire. The entire home is decorated as if it was in the movie. So you can experience a Home Alone evening yourself for the holidays if you happen to make the trip to Chicago. I have no idea how much it costs, but I do know that it's available on Airbnb right now for you to actually stay in if you want it, which is kind of fun.
What you are watching right now is actually a swim-off for event 205. This is the women's 50-yard freestyle swim-off. We have Abby Hahn, McKenna O'Brien, and Maddie Miller swimming in lanes three, four, and five, respectively. This is for the final scratch for the 50-yard freestyle. And in that freestyle, finishing in first place, Maddie Miller from Storm Aquatics with a time of 24.77. This is now event number 111. This is the women's 500-yard freestyle. There's gonna be six heats of this 500-yard freestyle for these women. In this heat number one for the prelims, we have Sophia Spinas from Clinton swimming in lane number one, Corinne Boyle swimming in lane number two, Abby Lyons is in lane number three, Amelia Nehmeyer swimming in lane number four, Raquel Grammerin is swimming in lane at number five, Isabella Soma is in lane number six, the young and talented Abby Eisman is swimming in lane number seven, and Ryan Rudman is swimming in lane at number eight. In honor of some of the swimmers here in this 500-yard freestyle, heat number one, we're going to throw some One Direction trivia at you guys. There are a few One Direction fans swimming currently in this pool, and they would love to let you know some of their knowledge. One of the questions they would like you to know is that One Direction was actually formed on which British TV singing competition? Here are your options. Britain's Got Talent, The X Factor, The Voice, or Fame Academy. I can tell you the winner of The X Factor Simon Cowell, I believe, was the person who signed them originally. None of these people actually finished first on the X Factor. However, Simon saw their tail and put them together. And they formed the legendary One Direction. Tragically, one of the original <coughs> members left the band. That original member who left the band, his name was Zane. In what year did Zane leave One Direction? That would be 2015. When Zane left, he actually created his own band and started his own solo career. What was Zane's first solo single? Well, every good One Direction fan would know that would be Pillow Talk. Some of you will remember this because it was a very popular song on all radio stations throughout the UK and here in North America. But what was the name of One Direction's debut single? 
The answer is what makes you beautiful. If you were so lucky to get the original first album of One Direction, do you guys know the name of the first album by One Direction? Well, that would be Up All Night. At one point in time, one of the members of One Direction actually dated Taylor Swift. She has been making the rounds recently, most recently at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony to honor Carole King. But Taylor once dated a member of One Direction, and that would be Harry Styles. And that today, people, is your One Direction trivia. This is now heat number two of the women's 500-yard freestyle. This is event 111. Shea Budanis is going to be swimming in lane number one. Eva Hilt will be swimming in lane number two. Abigail Selnow will be swimming in lane number three. Riva Saith will be in lane number four. Vanessa Mintz will be swimming in lane number five. Megan Koch will be swimming in lane number three, or I'm sorry, lane number six. Marissa Mamick will be swimming in lane at number seven. And Cara Pilatari is swimming in lane number eight. There was a momentary delay as one of the swimmers was waiting for their counter to show up at the far end of the pool. For those of you who, is, who are fans of the movie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, we got some Christmas Vacation trivia coming for you. In the movie Christmas Vacation, Uncle Eddie shows up in his RV with the entire family, including their dog. Do you know the dog's name? What is Uncle Eddie's dog's name? The answer is Snots. In one of the opening scenes of the Christmas vacation, the Griswolds go hunting for a Christmas tree. 
What does Clark forget to bring with him as they search for the annual Griswold Christmas tree? The answer is a saw. Instead of re receiving the traditional Christmas bonus that Clark was hoping for to get the family pool, instead, what did Clark receive as his Christmas bonus that year? The answer, a one-year membership to the Jelly of the Month Club. It's the gift that just keeps on giving, Clark. We already talked about Margo and Todd being the neighbors of the Griswolds. Who is the famous actress who actually played that female neighbor, Margo? That'd be none other than Julia Louis Dreyfus. Everyone has a favorite Aunt Bethany in their life. Aunt Bethany actually brought over a jello mold for the Christmas feast. Do you remember what Aunt Bethany's secret ingredient was? That secret ingredient was going to be cat food. This is now going to be heat number three of the women's 500-yard freestyle. Swimming for back in lane number one is going to be Aaron Barnasek. Dana Hans is going to be swimming in lane number two. Ellie Tandelmeyer will be swimming in lane number three. Molly Green will be in four. Verona Gelfand will be swimming in lane number five. Amy Quinlan will be in lane number six. Ashley Allaire will be in lane number seven, and Evelyn Sun, swimming for Long Island Athletic Club, will be swimming in lane number eight. Sticking with the Christmas movie theme, we're going to go to Elf, one of the classic recent comedies involving Christmas. We'll start it off easy. Where did Buddy the Elf live for most of his young life? Well, it's the same place all elves live, 
the North Pole. How did Buddy actually get his name? Well, it actually said on his diaper, Little Buddy Diapers. What iconic building did Buddy the Elf's dad actually work at in New York City? That would be the Empire State Building. What classic SNL character or what classic SNL actor played the character Buddy the Elf? That would be Will Ferrell. Here's a little more obscure fact. Who was the intercom lady at Buddy's dad's office? Who was the lady working as the secretary for Buddy's dad? Her name was Deborah. Some of you might know this. What is the first rule in the Code of the Elves? Ah, yes. Treat every day like Christmas. Buddy actually has a brother in the movie Elf. Do you guys know the name of Buddy Elf's brother? That's Michael. What store does Buddy get a job at? What is the major department store in New York City that Buddy got a job at? That would be Gimbel's. And if you were paying attention earlier today, where did Santa's sleigh break down in New York City on Christmas Eve? Made a crash landing. That would be Central Park.
This is now going to be heat number four of event number 111, the women's 500-yard freestyle. Carolina Shaw, swimming for back, is going to be in lane at number one. Kimberly Gingrass is swimming in lane at number two. Katie Crawford will be swimming in lane at number three. Delaney Moynihan in four. Dorothy Amato swims in lane at number five with her swim meet, or I'm sorry, with her teammate, Jennifer DeMaria, swimming in lane number six. Cadence O'Donnell is in lane number seven, and Lillian Darcy is in swimming in lane number eight. Today, as you guys know, is December 4th, and there are some pretty obscure facts that happen on this date in history, December 4th, throughout the years. So let me share a few of these weird facts with you guys. These are truly obscure facts. It was on this day, December 4th in 1981, that the evening soap opera Falcon Crest debuted on CBS for the first time. It's been a long time since we've had evening soap operas. We also have Manila Paper was created on this day. Patented, I should say, on December 4th in 1843. I've actually never realized why they call it Manila Paper, but it actually makes a lot of sense now. So Manila Paper was actually patented by a guy named John Mark and his partner Lyman Hollingsworth of Massachusetts. They produced their paper from old marine hemp ropes. The hemp typically came from the Philippines, thus the name Manila. And Manila Paper usually is a light brownish yellow and is often used for envelopes and folders. Before then, the paper was usually made from old cotton and linen rags. It was on this day, in December 4th, 1,154, that the first English Pope was elected, Nicholas Brexpier, who assumed the name of Adrian IV. Some of you might recall the movie Mask, starred Cher and Eric Stoltz back in 1985. It was loosely based on a man named Rocky Dennison. He was actually born on this day in 1961. He died, unfortunately, in 1978, at the age of 16. When he was initially diagnosed at age two, the doctor said he wouldn't live past age seven. Marisha Tomei, famous for her starring role in My Cousin Vinny and many other subsequent films, was born on this day in December 4th, 1964. Marisha Tomei was also the love interest at one point of George Costanza in the Seinfeld series, playing herself. Another famous actor born on this day would be Jeff Bridges, born December 4th, 1949. The classic musician, shouldn't say classic, classic rock musician, Dennis Wilson of the Beach Boys. Cowardly Lion was 
unfortunately passed away on this day, Bert Lahr. He died on this day, December 4th in 1967. He was originally born in 1895. He starred as the Cowardly Lion and Zeke, the farm worker, in The Wizard of Oz, which was just recently on TV over Thanksgiving, I believe. This is now going to be heat number five. This is the women's 500-yard breaststroke. Well, I don't even know what I'm saying. 500-yard freestyle. Jessica Konski for Team Suffolk is swimming in lane number one. Katie Byer is swimming in lane number two for Star. Brianna Brinkelos is swimming in lane number three. Kelsey Cat is swimming in lane at number four for back. Emma McNutty is swimming in lane number four. Jenna Hart is in lane number six. Katie Curran is swimming in lane number seven. And Olivia Glasser is swimming in lane number eight. Kelsey is hoping to swim this along with Emma in under five minutes. Kelsey comes in with a time of exactly five minutes, point one second. And Emma is coming in with a time of five minutes, two seconds. There's gonna be one more heat of the women's 500 yard freestyle after this. And then we are going to be doing four or five heats of some relays.
This is now heat number six of the prelims for the 500 yard freestyle, event number 111. Olivia Ronigan is sitting in lane number one. Tamson Foreman is swimming in lane number two. Manny McKinney is swimming in lane number three. Sophia Giordano is swimming in lane number four. Natalie Killian is in lane number five. Michaela Pierce in lane number six. Katie Lester in lane number seven. And Emma Heinz is in lane number eight.
that is the end of the prelims for the women's 500 yard freestyle. This is now going to be event number 58. This is the men's 13 and 14 400 yard medley relays. There's going to be two heats of this. In the first heat, there's going to be three different teams swimming. A star B relay is going to be in lane number three. A Long Island relay is going to be Long Island C relay will be in lane number four. And Long Island D relay will be in lane number five. As we begin to finish up this morning session, Star would like to again thank our gold sponsors. AlignRx is one of our gold sponsors here for this weekend's swim meet. AlignRx is a cutting edge pharmacy consulting firm working with health plans, brokers, third party administrators, and employer groups to guide discussions that optimize their pharmacy drug spending. AlignRx drives significant savings through robust acquisition processes, trend management, and innovative solutions. And our second gold sponsor for this event is gonna be the Bray Miller Market. Bray Miller Market is located just a few blocks from here in downtown Buffalo, where you can now find snacks, beverages, sandwiches, fresh fruit, and more. Check us out at braymillermarket.com or on Facebook. And for those of you guys who are looking for a great spot to have some lunch, Bray Miller's is literally a couple blocks from here at the ECC Flickinger Center in downtown Buffalo. It is the first downtown grocery store in Buffalo in many, many years. They have a brand new, beautiful facility. And it is definitely worth checking out if you are down here for any extended period of time and you're just getting a little hungry. For those of you who live in the south towns of Buffalo, you can always check out Bray Miller's original location, just south of the village of Hamburg on your way out to Eden, in beautiful Water Valley.
This is now event 109. This is going to be the women's 400 yard medley relay. Swimming in lane number one is going to be the back B relay. Swimming in lane number two is star D. Lane three is the star C relay. Swimming in lane four is going to be the Tonawana Titans Swim Club A relay. Victor Swim Club B relay is in five. Schenectady Saratoga Swim Club's B relay is in lane number six. The Twist B relay is not swimming in lane seven. They are not here. And the Star E relay will be in lane number eight.
Entering the pool now are going to be the girls for the event 109, the women's 400-yard medley relay. This is heat number two. In lane at number one is going to be Team Suffolk's B relay. In lane at number two is going to be the Schenectady Saratoga Swim Club's A relay. In lane number three is going to be Long Island Athletic Club's D relay. Their Long Island's C relay is in lane number four. Berkeley Aquatic Club, their C relay is in number five, their D relay is in number six, and their E relay is in number seven, and star B relay is in number eight.
Thank you all for watching this morning's Star Invitational Swim Meet, Saturday morning prelims. We look forward to seeing you guys tonight at finals.